Autodesk has released Maya 2026, the new version of its 3D modeling and animation software. Unlike Autodesk's recent annual updates to Maya, it does not introduce any complete new tool sets, but there are updates throughout the existing core functionality, including 3D modeling, retopology, shading, animation, and simulation. There are also updates to Maya's integration plugin for Autodesk's Arnold Renderer and a new Animate and Context feature for users of Autodesk's Flow production tracking platform. 3D Modeling New volume mode for Booleans and updates to STL export. For asset development, Maya's Boolean node gets a new volume mode. Unlike the existing mesh mode, the source objects are converted to volumes before computing the Boolean operation, then the output is converted back to polygonal geometry. Autodesk pitches it as a quick way to block out organic models like creatures and characters. Other changes to the modeling toolset include the option to set scale units when importing or exporting models in STL format for 3D printing. Retopology. Since Maya 2025.1 released last May, Maya subscribers have had access to Retopology plugin Flow Retopology. It mimics the functionality of the existing Retopologize tool, but it is possible to submit Retopology jobs to run in the cloud rather than on the user's machine. The current version, Flow Retopology for Maya 1.3, is now bundled with Maya 2026, and the usage limit has been raised from 30 to 50 cloud Retopology jobs per month. Shading and texturing. Default surface shader switch to open PBR. For texturing, the main change in Maya 2026 is that open PBR is now the default surface shader. Support for the open material standard intended as a unified successor to the Autodesk standard surface and Adobe standard material was originally added in Maya 2025.3. In addition, LookDevX, Maya's plugin for creating USD shading graphs, has been updated. LookDevX for Maya 1.7 features a number of workflow improvements, particular to publishing, and support for relative file paths when X exporting Material X documents. Other changes include an experimental new generative texture API, making it easier for TDs to integrate third-party generative AI services into LookDev by creating C++ or Python plugins. Maya's Substance plugin for editing procedural materials and Substance format inside Maya has also been updated, although there aren't many details about what's new in Substance 3.04. Rigging and animation, performance updates to the AI-based ML Deformer. Maya 2026 also features performance and workflow improvements to the new ML Deformer, possible to visualize the difference between the source and target meshes as a heat map to help troubleshoot output using a new display option, Apply Mesh Compare. The update also makes the training process more customizable, makes output less noisy, and improves performance. Updates to Arnold for Maya. Maya 2026 also ships with an updated version of the integration plugin for Autodesk's Arnold renderer. Key changes since the release of Maya 2025.3 include a new transmission shadow density parameter in the open PBR surface and the standard surface shaders to control the look of shadows cast by transparent objects, global light scene sampling, or GLS, now takes material glossiness into account, which greatly enhances render quality, especially in scenes with small lights. Pipeline integration. USD for Maya now supports light linking. Maya's universal scene description plugin has also been updated. USD for Maya 0.31 improves lighting workflows, adding support for light linking and the option to control lighting by looking through a selected light source. Gollum, the Maya crowdsourcing plugin that Autodesk acquired last year, is now commercially available again. Autodesk includes it in the release notes for Maya 2026, but it's a separate purchase and requires a subscription to the full media and entertainment collection, not Maya alone. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my course, Noob to Ninja in Maya, where I'll get you up to speed with modeling, lighting, materials, and rendering. Check it out in the description below below.